Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Adobe After Effects to create motion graphics samples for Premiere Pro. We're gonna be using the Essential Graphics Update for this, so make sure that both of these programs are up to date. And then basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create a motion graphics template in here. We're then going to click a couple buttons in After Effects and send it to right over here in the Essential Graphics tab. And that'll allow us to just drag and drop it onto our footage whenever we need to use it. So then let's get started. I've already created the motion graphics that I wanted to sort of show. It's something that it's going to be included in my videos from now on. Basically just something, you know, a call to action, subscribe videos every other day. Some, something like this is going to be in the bottom left. And basically all it does is it just has this emblem come out, the opacity comes in the text, and then it just does the exact opposite near the end. So then, I want to actually export this as a motion graphics so that I can use it in Premiere Pro. That is actually really easy to do. All you have to do is go up to the composition, go down to open in essential graphics, click on that, and you'll see this essential graphics panel is now open. You can give it a name, I've already given it a name, um, and then the master composition should be whatever composition you're working on, so I haven't named it, so it's just comp one right now. Now, if I click this, export motion graphics template, you'll see I get a warning. You must add at least one property controller before exporting a motion graphics template. All you have to do is just click this add comment button. This is the motion property controller. Um, since we're not doing anything advanced, there's nothing in here. So all we gotta do is just throw in a comment and now it meets whatever sort of checks that it was looking for. So you don't even need to put anything in the comments. Now you just click export motion graphics it'll say the project needs to be saved first you click save it's going to flash a bunch of times and then you go into this it'll say where do you want to export it in if we export it into essential graphics it's just going to come up in premiere pro by default if we export it anywhere else like maybe we're creating our own sort of group of them then you can go into premiere pro and then you can navigate and you can find it using the navigator right there we're just going to go into essential graphics we're going to click ok on that now we are in premiere pro and you see we now have Adobe Master Subscribe, the one that we just created. It is sitting right here. Um, something important to note is that for some reason with all of the After Effects ones, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't at all. Um, so if you drag it in, let me just show you. It's gonna load up the motion graphics template and this will take a couple seconds because it has to create the link from Adobe After Effects into Adobe Premiere Pro. But once it's loaded, you should be able to hit the play button and you can see our motion graphics is added. Now, what I was talking about is sometimes whenever you try to hit the stop button after it's plays, it'll just keep playing and it won't stop. And then you'll have to shut down the program and you'll have to force close it using Task Manager. Only happens with these links from After Effects into Premiere Pro. I know that's just a small glitch that probably is gonna be fixed pretty soon with Adobe. So shouldn't be something you worry about, but just understand that if that happens to you, you're not alone. It happened to me a couple of times now. But this is how easy it is to create motion graphics from here. We can just create it, export it, and then drag and drop it in. And now if I had a video that was like 45 minutes long and I wanted to drop this five times, I just drag and drop them on over and they work out beautifully. Saves me from having to go to After Effects because After Effects no longer has to be open or even touched after this. Now we can just keep drag and dropping them over into here straight from Premiere Pro. That is it on this tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful. I've been doing a lot of tutorials on the update because I just feel like it's really important and that everyone can really learn from this update because, you know, it's new for everyone. Yeah, so thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to see more videos similar to this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you, you know, got any comments, got any questions, you want to recommend a tutorial that I should do, throw those in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those and to try to do any of the tutorials that you guys want me to do. So yeah, until next time guys, see ya.